Hello everyone, I'm Rupa Raba, a student at Gifted Student School of Anbar, which is based in my home country, uh, Iraq. Um, today I'll be conducting a presentation about my project, Synthesis and Characterization of Nanostatics from Agricultural Waste Using Ultrasonic. And I'm going to have to mention my supervisors, Dr. Aisha Mahmoud and Mr. Marwan Talam first. This uh, study, uh, the study of this project, aimed to extract and characterize nanostatics from waste uh, to find solution to the useless agriculture by converting them into environmentally friendly materials. An expensive chemical, me chemical method was used for extraction of cellulose, acid hydrolysis, and sonication and filtration, in which nanocellulose obtained by casting and evaporation. We also used techniques such as SEM and XRD. This is the uh, most wide surprised biofabrious polymer. It is produced from natural resources such as planets, bacteria, and animals. Uh, cellulose has uh, many beneficial features such as being renewable and biodegradable and also sustainable and environmentally friendly. Nanocellulose. Nanocellulose is the nanostructured cellulose. It represents the crystalline region extracted from cellulose. Nanocellulose is the strongest organic molecule with many interesting characteristics such as high surface area, and optical properties. There are um, uh, different types of nanocellulose. These are just basic ones. So first we have cellulose nanocrystals, and second we have cellulose nanofibrils, and bacterial nanocellulose. There are many applications of nanocellulose in a wide range of expertise and in a lot of interest industries. So uh, first we have uh, the paper industry. It's also used in the composite materials. It's used in hygiene and in biomedical application. It is uh, also used in food manufacture and sensing and biosensing. It also used in electronic and engineering. And it's also used in cosmetics materials. Now uh, we got to the experimental part and I used palm uh, fiber. So first we're going to get uh, palm leaves. We can collect it from like, you know, any tree. Then we're going to uh, wash it and dry it. Then after that, we're going to grind it using the, any grinder. Then after that, we're going to add 2% NaOH and stir it and heat it at 80 Celsius for four hours. Then we're going to wash it again and deplete it at room temperature for 48 hours with uh, sodium hydrochloride. And then we're going to wash it again with uh, and that after that it's going to uh, we're going to get cellulose but uh, to convert it to nanocellulose we have to add it 35 uh, percent of h2so4 at 30 celsius with stirring then we're going to wash it again and uh, put the mixture in the sonication for 80 uh, minutes then we're going to get nanocellulose. Um, we can use the physical characterization such as XRD and SEM. Um, results and discussion. Um, this work investigated utilizing modified methods to prepare nanocellulose, focusing on using ultrasonic techniques combined with hydrolysis process. Uh, while being a simpler, shorter, and less costly method, it uh, has shown very great results. And that is brought by the uh, identification. The, um, we used two identification, SEM identification method, scanning electron microscope used to observe all changes in morphology of nanocellulose fibers, which is formed as shown in the following picture, uh, figure. We can see here that the SEM of uh, nanocellulose uh, for uh, 18 minutes at 35% of sulfuric acid with different magnification. 
X-ray diffraction uh, identification, XRD, was performed to determine crystalline size, uh, as we can see in this figure. Conclusion. Um, the success of this method by preparing nanocellulose uh, fibers from palm leaf provided a simple, fast, and expensive an inexpensive method. The result indicates that FEISEM spectroscopy techni technique uh, f uh, confirmed the formation of nanofibers that were obtained from palm leaf prepared using sonication with an acid concentration of 35%. And that's all. I hope you liked my project and I wish you a nice day. Uh, bye!